So here we are again, part nine of Phantasmic, the Dread of Oakville, and uh, Creepy Doll in the pause menu. We all know that happens. So, this is immediately after part eight. I'm just recording. I'm on a spree. I want to get this done. The game is really getting interesting. I've learned how to do some stuff that I apparently just skipped over in the tutorial. So, uh, that's a fairy. I know where it goes. It goes right here. Yep. I could not just lift the chair. Skepticism saved at Josie. She's out of our reach now, thanks to that cursed police patrol. We have to get her back. Her presence is crucial. Police patrol. If only we'd seen this earlier. How would we have seen this? It was sitting under a cushion that the evil lady was sitting on. Jewelry Lou. Okay. I don't know what that does. Uh, this is the only room that I have anything to do in. Oh, 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 oh. But they're magically colored now. Whatever. That was easy. Whoa! Okay, Evangeline's room. That was the wife, wasn't it? That was Dr. Tuttle's wife, and apparently she was starting to go first. I imagine she's dead. I did something. I don't know what I did. She was pretty. I got a locket, bale, and a horse. Horse figure. Queen. I don't know why I stopped that word just randomly. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't see a thing and the blinds are broken. I have to tie them up to keep them in place. Or you could just, you know... Whatever. Can I finally use the ribbon? I can finally use the ribbon that I've had for... Something's on fire. Why is something on fire? Good ghost, evil ghost. Good ghost. After everything you've learned about what we did as the fear crept into our bones, you still marched into our darkness. Well, I don't have a choice. I'm kind of stuck here. But can you blame us for turning into vacant-eyed ghosts? Yes. Who would want to remember the atrocities we committed? You shouldn't have committed them in the first place. You see, memory is a haunted palace filled with regret. It's locked chambers inhabited with ghosts. Cannot bear to face. Okay, that's actually a really cool quote. I really like that. So I hope you can forgive us the weakness Mr. Nightingale so readily exploited. Our wish to forget and be forgotten. You made a doll out of, like, possessed wood. I just, I, I feel no pity for you. Are you awake? If you've been around since, if you remember in part six, uh, my cat Parker is sitting right there on her little bed that's on my desk. All these poor people were manipulated by that devious doll. No one deserves this. Devious doll, it just... It just sounds wrong. Wrong. What else can I click on? I don't know what else I can click on. No one really one sees those spinning ballerinas in a music box like this. Guess what I have? A locket cover. Um. Do I have anything else to do in here? I mean, I've lit up these things. Let's consult the map. Yeah, just in here. What else can I click on? That'll... Like, my little cursor isn't firing up. Yeah, it is. There it is. There we go. Look at this. Match three. It's obvious I haven't done this before because... Hello. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe it. Just... I have no words. There you go. There you go. 
Of course, these aren't nearly as interesting to commentate on. So, and you're just watching me do this over and over and over again. What? Oh. Let's see, that's right. No, it's not. Here goes another one. There goes two more. Basically, if you get these, uh, it's the symbol for the, uh, the, uh, my brain isn't working. Developer, the game developer. <laughs> that took me way too long. Uh, so that's their symbol. So you get it down to the bottom, and that counts as finding an item on the hidden object scene. So there we go. These are these are actually really pretty easy, just because you get things that blow up, and it just keeps knocking stuff down for you. So. There goes another one. Um. Nope, nope, that way. And boom! I used to just use these, like, if I was just really stuck and didn't want to use a hint, because in some past Phantasmic games, they would give you an achievement for not using a hint, like, at all. And so, like, apparently this game doesn't have that achievement. It has other achievements, like, you know, playing this to do a playing in match three instead of doing hidden objects. So I'll keep doing the hidden objects, but for just once I want to do this and get the stupid achievement. I like I can get any of like all of them because I missed all the souvenirs and I've missed uh, <clears throat> the morphing objects. I think there was only one Phantasmic game where I actually was really solid on I got all of the objects. Um, and that's because they weren't morphing they were, uh, ooh, that was a good one. They were eyes. Not like eyeballs like this, but like, it, it, it's hard to describe. And that was fairly easy to find in every single one of them. The, uh, scenes. And you can't get it now because you can't go backwards and I will never get that little eyeball off of there. I hate that. Um... I'm trying to still get this one down. There we go. So I have three left. I just need to get three of those. I My words stopped working all of a sudden. Three of those E's. Like I said, it's pretty much doing all the work for me. <laughs> Shoot you down. And there we go. Achievement unlocked. That's all I needed to do. Framed picture. Okay, so... With the locket and the hinge. Uh, a hinge once I hinge. I have the hinge on there. The hinge once kept this sweet lock is fastened. Oh, I guess the thing at the top, which I do have. Okay. And I believe that means I can go into this because I have this. Yep. Now, how did Meg get through that door without that locket? You helped Ansel create the eye behind my back. What else can you offer me now? Your dignity? Oh, but you lost that a long time ago. And you might as well leave your daughter in the crypt. She won't be able to run away. Who's that, Greg or the other dude? What daughter are they talking about? Vivian or Josie? You're the one who found the eye. Vivian locked herself in Evangeline's crypt. Please help me get her out. We're eighty-six percent. Yay! Yeah. Uh, something seems to be jammed inside, but won't work without a small valve. Luckily, I have a small valve. A uh, wooden cherub that goes on the throne. Ew! Oh, it's not real. <laughs> I thought it was real. Okie doke. Um, it's a symbol of both sun and moon. This looks like a, a sun half. Okay. A pound of flesh, no more, no less. So I'll need to find something that weighs equally a pound. No, no, no. 
Apparently, it'll tell me that I found something that's a pound. Oh, it's an actual horse. So, Mr. Nightingale doesn't affect animals. Poor creatures. He's so skittish, but he's still in my way. Skull! <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. Uh, skull here. Yep. Select the arrows to shuffle the skulls until all three are in the central crossing paths. What does that mean? Oh, right here? Yep. Whoops. Okay, uh, I need to move you. I don't think that's enough. I think I have to... Yep. I think there was a very quick solution and I already screwed it up. I did. Like, so I need to get these two here. So I need to get this one to right here. Hmm. So put that one on there. I'll make this one... Nope. Darn it! <laughs> it should not be this difficult. I need to get these two side by side. Okay, well I sort of did that. Okay, so I have two side by side. Okay. Now I move this one. Nope, no, 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 no. No. Go back. I need to go back to the bottom. I hit the wrong arrow. Then I do this. That took me too long to figure out. A bridle. Vivian! Hi, Vivian. Come out. Creepy little girl. What if I hid here? Since Mr. Nightingale preys on the living... I'd be safe here with the dead. What little kid used the word praise? Come here, sweetheart. I'm so sorry about everything. Got to get to the pyre and stop me. Don't let that thing take my daughter. Okay. That is Josie's father. Not Greg Olson. Come on. So putting the bridle on, oh, whatever. I'm just not even going to question the mechanics. Stables! Get something on fire. Fire is easily quenched with the right element. So I need to fill... There's a fly in here. I need to fill that up with water. Fountain over here. Can I collect the water in the bowl? Yay! So I can put out the water. Dirt is also an element. Earth would have gotten rid of it. Just saying. A half pound weight. What do you know? I wanted to read. I heard. I saw Nigel and something else. Okie doke. Why are they turned sideways? That's annoying. Butterfly. Lantern. Glove. Um, a box. It's a bunch of boxes, like a... It's a box, 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 box. Boots. Wheat. Is that... That's wheat, and those, that is not wheat. Um. Oh, there it is. An angel. Cloth. A scythe. Um... What is lettuce? Is that not one? Oh, nest. <laughs> lettuce. Um, is that a piece of paper? Is that what that is? Yes. And a box. I mean, there's a bunch of boxes. What kind of box? Oh, is that the box? That's the box you want. That looked like cardboard, and I just picked up a metal box. That's not fair. And oh, it's right there. Half weight. Is that what that was? 
Yep. Half pound weight. Let's go ahead and do this, since that works. And I get more stuff. Is there anything else in here? Hmm, someone really tried to hide this bag. I'll have to find a proper latch to open it. And I bet I could do that with the weights. So there we go. You are a bag lock. Yep. Okay. Wait, where was it? Oh, it was up, up here. Well, there's the moon piece and this. Okay. Ooh, lightning. It's still storming. And the sun. That's actually really cool. Here we go. How did you get it? No, let him go! <laughs> oh my gosh, May! Oh, Parker's gonna join in the fun. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I was digging this story until... <laughs> I can't even read the directions. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. Use the eye symbol on the screen and drag and manipulate the fragments until all parts align. Ow! Park hurt! What are you doing? That hurts! Oh wait, what am I doing? Uh... Use the eye symbol on the screen and drag and manipulate the fragments until all the parts align perfectly. Oh, now I get it. Well, I thought I did. Like, I'm dragging this heart. There we go. This is just... What's happening to my heart? In a phantasmic game, have I laughed this hard at the villain? It's just... 
Oh, wait, what am I doing? After finding all of the monsters in the dark, rotate and swap the symbols until they match the clues in the middle. A spider. <laughs> no longer laughing. Okay. After finding- oh, I did. Rotate and swap the symbols until they match the clues in the middle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would have rather had the doll. Who's he? Was that... Uh... That was Phantasm at the Dread of Oakville. <laughs> I just... <sighs> I still have tears in my eyes from laughing. Um... Thoughts on the ending. May's demise was just so, like, it built up so much to May. And when you finally meet her, yeah, she's creepy. But she just throws herself into a fire and disintegrates. And I was so looking forward to this doll. I knew the guy carved an evil doll. I knew it was, had, like, this demon inside of it. And the same thing with... Uh, May. It got tossed into a fire and... Like, I mean, I saw the concept art for it in the game, and then it's just tossed in a cinematic. And so... And then it became this weird spider thing made out of wood that was on fire. And it spoke really cliched lines, and... <laughs> just, the absorb line just killed me. Overall, it was a very good game. Uh, a lot of jump scares. Uh, a lot more than in some other Phantasmic games I've played. I haven't been paying attention to the the uh, credits, but that I saw that line and that cracked me up. Um, about the N-Wears glasses. So, uh, it was a good game. Mr. Nightingale's little birds reporting any disturbance. I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> Interpreters of ancient scripts maintain that maintain the Oakville dread. I will say that Phantasmit does a good job of making their credits kind of funny. But it was just a uh, good game. Like I said, the ending threw me for a loop. The little spider thing. The ever-critical overseers of Oakville's gory phantasm. <laughs> so, um, that's it for Phantasmic, the Dread of Oakville. I may play the uh, bonus content, not sure. I usually don't, just because I find that the stories are even more over the top than the actual, uh, I don't get the collector, than the main story. I don't get the collector's editions for the, uh, the extra chapter. 
I get it for the concept art and the music and stuff like that. But so, like I said, that was Phantasmic, the Dread of Oakville. I hope you enjoyed the whole series. Uh, this was the first object game that I've recorded and played. Uh, we've all learned together. <laughs> oh, these are all the uh, voice actors. So, most of this is Olsen. Rich Lane, Mr. Nightingale, kudos to you, sir. Tara Sands played more than one person. Big Fish Games, that is where I get uh, all of my games. I'm a huge fan of Big Fish. I have a lot of games that I have purchased. Uh, the Maze series is one of them. I have played through Ravenhurst up to Escape from Ravenhurst. Creepiest game I've ever played. Um, so I bought the rest of them. And we're just going to start at the beginning and go from there and bug and play the rest of the Ravenhurst games. Um, I might wait until I get better equipment since I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep doing this. And I want it to be enjoyable for everyone because I'm just playing on my laptop using the webcam and using this. So, got my achievement. Well done. You haven't completed the game and you can now access the extra content. Like, she's on the main screen! You would have thought that she was be more involved in the game. Instead of just having May uh, talk to her. Oh, look, it's the bats that I complained about in the first chapter. Souvenir room. Oh. I guess you get the souvenirs in the bonus chapter. I loved the music. Loved. So. Making of. So. I highly... Like, if you like these types of games... Um, I mean, the jump scares are kind of spoiled for you, but if you're, if you like playing games and doing puzzles and you don't like jump scares, well, there you go. I've already shown you where they are. <laughs> Although, if you don't like jump scares, then why are you watching this video? Because there are a lot of them. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was Phantasm with the Dread of Oakville, and I will see you in the next game.